Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, guys. Glad to have you with us again today. We've got somebody that we've never done before. Somebody Simon new. and Garfunkel, I believe is how you say it. Uh, this is somebody that I, or I guess a duo, that is pretty classic from what my understanding is. You're, you've heard of them before? Yeah, I don't know much about them, but I've definitely heard the name in passing is a classic and a lot of people like them. So. Right. So we've done a reaction video to disturb the sound of silence already. Mm -hmm. And this was the original version of that from what my understanding is. Um, mm -hmm. I believe that's the case. So correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. And uh, so you guys were saying that we should do this version for sure. That's what you guys were recommending. And also there is a pentatonics version of this song as well. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I wanted to do this. So we've got this one done. We've got the uh, disturbed one done, and then we can go into the pentatonics a one. Popular song. Yeah, and see their uh, rendition of it. Mm. Um, but anyways, I didn't want to jump to the pentatonics one without hearing the uh, this version of it, which the you guys original, say we right? actually need to, to listen to. From so what I'm from, what I understand, uh, this is a live version of the song. Um, and we've never heard it before, uh, this rendition of it that is, and we've never heard them before. So this will be a first time reaction for us. As usual, guys, thank you so much for all the support, all the comments and stuff we are very grateful for. So please continue and we encourage you to, to continue doing so because it helps us with our channel in terms of knowing what we should react to next. And uh, so, like I said, leave a comment, let us know what your thoughts are and any other reactions that you would like us to take part in. We can't get to all of them, but we do our best to make that list that we have continue to grow and grow and grow. So with that said, are you ready to get into some Simon and Garfunkel? Garfunkel. Yes. All right, let's get it. clapping yeah, in the background. Yeah, they're right in there. I was going to say, they're like so involved. Yeah, I love it. Very electric uh, feeling in the audience and, you know, very um, stripped down uh, performance. You know, it's just them, their vocals, you know, uh, obviously a duet together. You've got their acoustic guitar going on and, you know, I feel like that's a great setting for this song. Um, yeah. You know what the message seemingly is, but you know based on what we heard from the the disturbed version and this one of, you know the emotional side of things of you know trying to communicate with each other, but you you're unable to do so, and then you can't really make that connection that you want to make, right? Yeah, I think that um, while you still get the message in this, I don't get like as much of a disturbed vibe as the disturbed version like i feel like with the music video and everything with the disturbed one it seemed a little bit like more creepy like a little bit more eerie on the side of things like like darkness right whereas this like you said i feel like it's a little because it's stripped down you don't have those visuals you're just like really paying attention to the song and the way it's being performed yeah i think that version of it was there was a lot of the visuals to make it like darker right? yeah yeah for sure dark i would use the word dark probably instead of the creepy vibe yeah <laughs> you know i'm in dark yeah i know uh, i know that but they they have to know Sorry, that. <laughs> <laughs> but more so of like like you said that um the darkness like that's what he's talking about in that 
the video, right? In this one that they're doing, they're, I think, really honing in on, like I said, the stripped down version of the yes. musical components, yeah. which is very, very cool. And then you have the audience as well that are, you know, getting in the backdrop there. And touch the sound of silence And in the naked light I saw Ten thousand people leaving more People talking without speaking People hearing without listening People writing songs that voices never share and no one dare disturb the sound of silence. Fool said I, you do not know. Silence like a cancer grows. Hear my words and I might teach you Take my arms that I might reach you But my words like silent raindrops fell And echoed in the wells of silence and the people bowed and prayed To the neon god they made And the sign flashed its warning In the words that it was forming And the sign said the words of the prophets Are written on the subway wall and whispered in the sounds of silence. That was really cool. I, you know. Yeah. I really like that performance. I didn't want to stop it because it's. I said the same thing in the other Disturbed song because I think it's just, you know, probably the way they've obviously written it. That's you just want to let it go. Yeah. You want to let it play because sure. it, it really I think tugs. I don't want to say on your heartstrings so much because I don't feel like I was getting like sad or anything during it. Yeah. But it makes me you know listen to what they're saying. Yeah. Right. Really try to take in what they're saying and deliver the message that they're trying to deliver and re receive that message from my end. And uh, I think they do a great job at distributing that and like you know just uh, such a great acoustic song to have at a at a um, concert like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I can only imagine what that vibe was like and all of those people oh, and yeah. all that energy just like of just listening. you know rocking and to rocking together and having such a positive vibe because yeah. it's a seemingly a very positive song and I think that's why I don't feel sad about it because the message is a more of a positive aspect to create awareness I think. And uh, so yeah, great performance by them. I wasn't sure in the beginning if I was gonna like it or not because like I, it was so different than the the other version that we heard. Yeah. Obviously, like I said, much more acoustic based. Um, but I did as the song went on. Like I said, I got drawn into it, and I really did enjoy it. Yeah, I almost feel like they have perfect voices for this song because, you, like you said, it's a song that like I feel like the other version of it was a darker version of it. Whereas I feel like their voices were more like yes. lighter and smoother, and like you said, it was it's perfect for the stripped down way that they performed yeah. it. Right, I really liked it a lot. They're both. It's just crazy how different they both are. Oh yeah, they're both right? uh, incredibly talented. Yeah. They were both awesome, but like just very different. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's that's what's great about it is that you can take one song and make two different oh, versions of it that are both so <laughs> great and both so visionary in their own right. Yeah. And be both be so great. So you know. And then we got the Pentatonix one coming that's, in next. That's true. Yeah. So make sure you guys tune in for that one. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, tuning into this one. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button and uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what your thoughts are, and go check out our other videos. If you haven't checked out the other Disturbed one, might as well go do that now. So with that said, guys, that's all from us from for. Uh,
<laughs> That's all from us today. We'll be back soon. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care.